There's an interesting concept in the law called being a third party beneficiary. It's a little difficult to explain unless I give you an example. One guy called and said, you know what? There's a neighbor who has a, a shed next to me and I don't like the shed and it violates the HOA covenants, but the HOA is doing nothing about it. So I said, you know, you could probably sue the guy using the HOA covenants as your ammunition because you're a third party beneficiary, meaning that the homeowner has an agreement with the homeowners association to agree to certain covenants and the other guy, the neighbor who doesn't like the shed, he benefits from that agreement because you're not allowed to have that shed. In that case, he's a third party beneficiary. Here's another one. Let's say that a transmission shop agrees to give a 50% off coupon and they sign a contract with the coupon book company, but then they refuse to honor it. The coupon book company decides not to force the transmission company to do it, but you as a customer can force the transmission company possibly by taking them to court as a third party beneficiary to that agreement. You see, it's an agreement other people make that you're supposed to benefit from, but if they refuse, you can use that agreement to enforce it. I'm Tom Martino.